Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 10 of Creating a Space Shooter with Godot. Now, today we're going to learn about something called the Remote Scene Tree, which is a really helpful tool to help debug your game. So I want you to do this. Go to your gameplay scene and have that open here, and then start up your game. Once our game is running, you're going to see that there's two buttons in our scene tree, Local and Remote. Local is the scene as it is in your editor. Remote is the actual things that are in your scene in your running game. So as you can see, we have my gameplay scene and my player. Now you'll notice that if I press the spacebar to shoot, a bullet, actually two bullets appear because I shot two out of each wing, appear in the scene tree. If I shoot another time, two more bullets appear. So you can see that this is a live view of the nodes that are currently in your game that you're playing. And you'll notice that if I shoot a bunch, and there's a little bit of delay of course, we have a ton of bullet nodes that just spawned. And they're just sitting here in our game, and they're, they're still trying to move even though we can't see them anymore. And they're still moving off screen, we just we can't see all those bullets moving off screen. And that's extremely inefficient. We are going to have so many bullets going on in our game between us and the enemy and everything, we can't afford to keep these bullets around in our scene, it's just going to be a really bad performance issue. So once a bullet leaves the screen, we have to remove it from the game. Otherwise we're going to get a bunch of those bullets just backed up here and it's going to slow our game down. So let's go ahead and open up your bullet scene here. And we're going to add another node to the bullet scene. We are going to add a visibility notifier 2D. And this is a really, really handy node. You'll notice with the visibility notifier 2D here that we have this box that appears. And you want to make this box at least cover the entirety of your bullet. Now, this node right here has a few signals. Two of them are screen entered and screen exited. So this visibility notifier will actually notify us by emitting this signal, screen exited, when the bullet leaves the screen, when it can no longer be seen. So once this whole entire area that we defined in the visibility notifier leaves the screen, this signal will be emitted. And when that happens, we want to remove the bullet from our game because it's no longer useful to us. So let's go ahead and listen for this screen exited signal to be sent. So we'll double click screen exited in our visibility notifier and we're going to attach it to our bullet node, which has our script attached to it. And I'll just leave the default name that it gives us. And as you can see in our bullet script, we have this on visibility notifier 2D screen exited. And, and this, as the icon indicates, is attached to that signal. So once we leave the screen, we need to remove ourselves. And luckily with Godot, it's really, really simple. You can just do Q underscore free. What this will do, is at the end of the current frame, hence the word Q, we're going to wait to do this until this current game frame ends, we are going to remove this node ourselves from the scene tree, so we're going to take it out of wherever it is, we're going to take it out of its parent, and then it's going to free this node. It's basically going to dispose of it for us, and we can no longer use it. So now, with that very simple change, let me minimize this again, if I go to my gameplay scene and we start up our game, We'll click the remote tab here in our scene tree so we can see everything. When we start shooting, you should see the bullets appear, but then they disappear right as the bullets go off screen. So if we shoot a bunch of bullets, you can see we have a bunch of bullets here, but if you wait for the lag, they all disappear because that visibility notifier notifies the bullet by this function right here that it's off screen, and then we essentially remove the bullet from its parent and then free the bullet. We clean it all up and dispose of it. So it's a really, really, really convenient way of determining if an object goes off screen. And in our case, we can delete the bullets that we no longer need. I hope this helped, and I'll see you all in the next video.